An electric boat could be the solution to Perth's traffic congestion. New technology is making it possible to navigate the Swan River en masse without making waves. It's already gaining traction overseas and attention from military bosses in Australia. It's not a bird, not a plane, but it does fly over water, almost. And it could land at a jetty near you. We can run up and down the river with no wake, there's no emissions and there's no noise. The Perth developer of this electric wave flyer wants to be part of revived plans to expand the ferry network on the Swan River and make more use of this view. Metronet on the Swan, from rail to river. Its hydrofoil technology can lift higher above the water to cope with river and ocean currents. We know very well what the worst winter waves are going to Rotnest. So you design the hull so it flies that high above the water. Right. And then you fly every day in perfect comfort. Stockholm is launching the world's first electric ferry service in October. To follow suit, Australia's version needs political and financial capital to scale up. This is scalable to about 300 passengers. The current target is recreational users, the ultimate aim, mass transport, but there's also a third market attracted by the noise or lack thereof that's caught the ear of Australia's military. Enautic, one of 15 Innovation Award finalists who will deliver a pitch to the Indian Ocean Defence and Security Showcase that is bringing AUKUS Navy chiefs to Perth this week. What's the potential military application? So there's a range of military applications for this. That small recreational craft can be reconfigured as a, a stealth hull form with a payload of 200 kilograms. Able to travel unmanned and harder to detect, but hoping to be noticed this time round. Jessica Page, 7 News.